Hey girl, hey, and welcome back to another episode of I Cuss You Yoga and Love God with your host. That would be me, Minister in Training. Look, this week, y'all, I am so excited about this episode. I'm going to dive right in. And I know that it's unusual because usually I give you guys all of the all the things that have been happening with us, but I think it is necessary to go ahead and just dive right into this episode because there are women out there who need to know this place that I'm in and and how to get there. So if you are um, a supporter of my social media platforms, whether it be Instagram or TikTok or Facebook, then earlier this week, I think on yesterday, um, yesterday will be Wednesday. I'm actually recording this on Thursday. I'm a little late, but never deny, right? And then I spoke about how the chapter of my life that I am in, it's called peace. But this is not just uh, any type of peace that I'm speaking about. Th this is unspeakable peace that deep soul settling kind of peace that just transcends words and surpasses all understanding. And I don't want you to look at me and look at this peace and think that this peace came easy because the road to unspeakable peace, my sisters, often happens because of some pretty unspeakable pain. It is my, my experience that to get to unspeakable peace, we got to endure some unspeakable pain. So this week, we are going to talk about the trials and tribulations of some phenomenal women in the Bible who have grappled with hardship yet emerged stronger, finding that unspeakable peace that you are currently seeking on the other side. So if they found that unspeakable peace and I found that unspeakable peace, guess what? You also can find that unspeakable peace. But before we jump in, I just want to take a minute to just settle our spirits. So if you would just close your eyes, take a few deep breaths. Fill your lungs with cool air and release any tension with that exhale. And while you're here, I just want to take a moment and pray, if you will. Spirit of the living God, I just want to say thank you for this episode. Thank you for this podcast. Thank you for this platform. Thank you for the woman that is listening on the other side of the screen. I pray through this episode, she knows that pain is not her portion. That on the other side of that, Father God, please, please help fill her with the strength to move forward to finding her own unspeakable peace. Let nothing that forms against her prosper. Let her know that you are the mighty sword that fights her battles and through you walking with her, you and surrounding herself with women and sisterhood and community that walk with you that she too will find her unspeakable peace. These names we ask and these blessings we ask in the name of your son. Jesus. Amen. All right, let's go ahead and get started. I told y'all I'm excited. The Bible is filled with stories of strong women who faced immense challenges. I don't know if you've ever read the book of Esther, but my God, please do yourself a favor. And before this weekend is out, and it's a short read, Um, it's a, sh it's a short Bible book, but Esther risked her life to save her people. And then we have Hagar. You can find Hagar's story in Genesis. Hagar was cast out into the wilderness with her child. Okay, Ishmael. She was cast out with her child. And then there's the women at the well. The woman at the well, I'm sorry. Ostracized by society and yearning, thirsting for something more. These women, they all experience unspeakable pain. But here is the thing I need you to understand. They did not let that pain break them. They used their pain and turned it into power. They turned it into purpose. They used their faith, their inner strength to push through. So I know you're asking, all right, minister and trainer, that's all good for them. And that's all good for you. But how do I, like these other phenomenal women, find unspeakable joy on the other side of unspeakable pain? So here are five things I'm going to give you to get you started today. Number one, lean on your faith. Turn to scripture for guidance and solace. And I'm going to have a couple of scriptures at the end of this uh, episode to help you. I want you to learn to let God's word be your anchor in the storm. 
Number two, seek support. Y'all know I'm all about that sisterhood of community. Build a community of faith filled sisters who will uplift and encourage you. And most of all, pray for you. Surround yourself with women who are going to stand in the gap for you. Do not be afraid to ask for help when you need it. You have not because you ask not. Number three, practice gratitude. Y'all know this is my thing. Even in the midst of hardships, find those things to be grateful for. A grateful heart opens the door to joy. Number four, forgive yourself and others, please. Holding on to resentment only weighs you down. Okay? You don't only want to sink into the bottom, not them. Let go and find peace. And number five, focus on the present. Stop dwelling on the past and worrying about the future. Take each step one day at a Now, to help you on this journey, I've got a couple journal prompts and some scriptures for you. So grab your pen and your notebook because it's time to get introspective. Here are your journal prompts. Think about a time that you faced a major challenge. How did you cope? Hmm. What does unspeakable peace look like to you? Who are the women in your life who inspire you? And two scriptures for you. Ooh, Philippians chapter 4, verse 6 through 7. Do not worry about anything, but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known to God and the peace of God, come on, which surpasses all understanding will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. And then Romans 8, verse 28. And we all know that in all things, God works for the good of those who love him, who have been called according to his purpose. Remember, the path to unspeakable peace is going to be challenging. I promise you that. But I also promise that you are not alone. With faith, resilience, and the support of your sisterhood, you can find that deep abiding peace that transcends words. So keep the faith and keep walking in your light. That's it for this week's episode. I told you it was going to be powerful and short. I don't need a lot of time to help you find your light. I don't need a lot of time to help you find your gift and your healing. I just need a little bit of your time to let you know that your peace is on the other side of that pain. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, rate, and review this podcast episode. And most importantly, please share this with other phenomenal women in your life. Until next time, you all be blessed. I love you and I will talk to you later.